Could we be heading into a new housing bubble? In the early 2000s, easy credit and lax lending standards were partly to blame for the housing bubble that crashed with a devastating impact in 2008. Real estate prices are rising again, thanks in part to a shortage of new and existing homes for sale and because of home flips. According to a report by housing data site RealtyTrack, a home flip is defined as a property bought and then sold again within a 12-month period. Rising home prices are bringing out more home flippers, raising concerns the market may be overheating. Roughly 180,000 single-family homes and condos were flipped in 2015, according to the report. Home flips accounted for 5.5% of all U.S. sales in 2015, the first annual increase after four consecutive years of decreases and the highest number of flips since 2007. And the share of such sales has increased in 75% of U.S. markets. So why is this a cause for concern? Well, according to Windmere real estate chief economist Matthew Gardner, when home flipping numbers go up, it's usually an indication the housing market is in trouble. The problem with a rise in home flipping is these sales artificially inflate home prices, making housing even less affordable for buyers and increasing the risk of a bubble. The states that accounted for the highest share of flips in 2015, Nevada, Florida, Alabama, Arizona, and Tennessee.